What's up everybody? How to tech. We got a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge version. Uh, got this phone just barely also. We're going to take it apart. We have a iSesma opening tool. We have a couple of playing cards, a couple of guitar picks to help us get this back off of the phone. A couple of nylon spudgers uh, just in case we need to pop up some cables on the inside. A small triple O Phillips screwdriver and a pair of tweezers. We also need a heat gun uh, to do this repair. So let's go ahead and start with the first step which is popping out the SIM card on the phone. Go ahead and insert it and just go ahead and remove that. That way when we go to remove the logic port it's not holding it in. Also make sure your device is powered off. So we're going to go ahead and start on the back of this phone. So we're going to heat it up all around the edge of the phone so we can remove the back off of it. And we're going to get this nice and warm. Now, I'll make two versions of this video. This is the long one, unedited. Well, as much as unedited as possible. There's a couple cutaways and, and things like that in here where I forgot tools or whatever. But So we're going to get this nice and warm. This is a heat gun. It's set to 500 degrees Celsius. And uh, the reason why I'm showing this is I want to show you how long I really heated it up before I started to try to remove the back off of it. We don't want to shatter or damage the back of your phone. So we're going to get it nice and toasty warm. Definitely not there yet. getting a little bit warmer it seems like the metal, ch the metal chassis on this uh, helps dissipate the heat a little bit now really what we're going to do is start at the bottom of the phone and then kind of work our way towards the top I like to start at the bottom that way there's more area to work with we don't have to worry about uh, damaging uh, or shatter points around the camera at all. All right, it's feeling pretty warm at this point. I don't want to put my hand on it for very long, uh, but it's not uh, to the point where it's going to be melting anything. So we're going to take our ISO small tool and just put the small tip in here real quick. And I don't want to use this metal tool all the way around because that will ding and damage the coloring on the back side of the back cover here. So we're going to put our playing card in. And this is a much safer tool to use here and work aware. And you can see how gooey that glue is. It's already stuck to that playing card. So we're just going to tip it around the outside. Now this has a much shallower curve than the S7 does. So it's not as easy to, to crack it around the corners. But as you move the card around the corners, try to not use a whole bunch of the card there. Uh, just kind of the tip area. Perfect. You can see we're making quick progress on this phone. Now when you're putting your card in, you don't necessarily want to go too much further up than the S7 Edge logo on the back of the screen. There. There's a charge mat underneath it from the Samsung logo down. So we're going to heat up this opposite side here and we'll use a playing card to separate this side. Now there's really only adhesive around the curve except for a one point it goes in a little bit deeper uh, kind of in right above the S7 Edge logo and then up towards the top of the camera. Much easier to start using a clean side of the card uh, once the one side gets kind of gummed up. Alright now that we have that side done we'll go ahead and start on the opposite side of the volume button. Another playing card to go down this side here. All 
Right now it's feeling pretty loose at this point. But I don't want to pull it just off the top. We're going to heat it up. One more just to go around the edge here. Lots of adhesive up here at the top of the phone, right in this corner. We'll go ahead and round the edge here. All right, there we go. Should pop right off for us. Excellent, so now you can see the interior portion of the phone and the residual glue on the back of the device. So you can see that up in that upper right hand corner, lots of adhesive down there towards the S7 Edge logo on the back of the screen. You can see there's adhesive there and a little bit of adhesive just around the charging port area of the phone as well. So those are the key points to keep an eye on when you're removing it. That way you don't damage the glass at all. So let's go ahead and start on removing the screws. There are 12 screws to remove off the back. We'll go ahead and pull out all 12. Now sometimes these screws can be a little finicky to get out. They'll get stuck kind of in the plastic housing as they've been screwed in a little snug. If that's the case, just leave them in there and then use a pair of tweezers to come back and pull them out. Just work across the top here and pull out the remaining five screws. All right, now with that done, we'll just pull out this one straggler down here at the bottom. We can go ahead and start to remove the black framing around the bottom portion and the middle portion of the phone here. I find it easier to work at the bottom and get a good solid area to work with. We're just going to pry upwards. Just has a few clips that are holding it down. You don't want to shove your pry tool in too deep. You don't want to damage any of the internal antenna components on it. That portion just removed will contain the loudspeaker. We'll go ahead and remove the middle portion which contains the wireless charge mat. Just being careful as if we pry against the logic board that we're not damaging any of the antenna portions that are sticking up. A little adhesive stuck to looks like the proximity sensor up here. There we go. You can work on removing the top portion. This pops right off. A little adhesive here as well. Now with the backing removed, we can go ahead and see all the internal portions of the phone. The next step is to go ahead and remove the logic board and to do that we have to disconnect all of the connectors to the phone itself. So we'll start down here at the bottom with the home button, the two wire antenna connectors, the power button, 
the display connector, our front facing camera, which we can actually just go ahead and remove and pull out, battery connection, earpiece speaker, proximity sensor, volume button. Now with all of those removed, there's one connection down here at the bottom of the logic board holding the charge port in. So we can twist that off. And work on removing the board out of the phone. Lifting up and just making sure all the cables are pulled out of the way of the board wanting to pull up. Now with that done, we can go ahead and remove the board. Flipping it over, you can see that the camera connection is just like all the other ribbon cable connections on here. Just pop that off. And you can replace your camera on the rear portion of the phone. Next step is that we're going to take out the battery. And to do that, we're going to use a flat tool. Now, I like to start off with a flat metal tool. A lot of people will say metal is bad, but just don't puncture your battery. You'll be just fine. So using the dull side of this iSesimo tool, we're just going to use this to get started to give us a little bit of opening underneath the battery. It's adhered all the way around in a square. We're just going to use a handy dandy trusty Amazon gift card here. Uh, it makes a great battery remover. So just putting it in, sliding it in underneath and pushing it as far as you can. Now you do want to be careful as there's an opening in the back portion of the phone uh, where the display is at so you don't want to pry against that but just pushing against it cutting through the adhesive the adhesive is only um, right past where the kind of the battery is bending just a little bit there now with that pushed out you can go ahead and just use your hands and gently pull it I'm not ripping it I'm just pulling it and it's separating the adhesive now we'll remove the battery for us see the adhesive across all four sides. Now, if the battery out, we can work on removing the power button. Just using our tweezers, putting it in against the metal portion and pulling upwards, we'll go ahead and remove that. Now, the little metal bracket may pop out. So you can see on this one, just putting it in between the bracket and the actual portion that's holding the button. This is the volume up and down. You can see that it's just the little ribbon cable on top of the bracket. Is how it's held in place and again you may have uh, one of these little brackets pop out and that's completely fine you can go ahead and put that back in and reassembly let's go ahead and work on removing the proximity sensor on the phone and to do that we're just going to use a pair of tweezers to pull up there's a little adhesive underneath the ribbon cable get up a little bit closer towards the proximity sensor portion and just go ahead and slide it on out you can see we have our proximity sensor area. You can go ahead and remove the earpiece speaker just by putting the tweezer in right here in the top or bottom corner and just pulling upwards. I'm not being extremely forceful. There's a kind of a rubberized gasket on it uh, that's adhered into the phone. We want to retain that. So be gentle as you're pulling it out and don't rip this. You can kind of fit it back in place and prepare it for reassembly. Let's go ahead and pop out the vibration module. There's a little opening up here at the top. Putting your tweezer in and it's pulling up should let it pop right out for you. We can also remove the headphone jack. Remove the single screw that's holding it in place. Then using a spudger Pry up against the back of the headphone jack and kind of down towards the corner and it will go ahead and remove for you. You do want to undo the ribbon cable connection also. All right, we have that removed. There's a little grounding connection on it as well. So in reassembly, make sure that's put back in touching the metal frame. You can remove these two wire cable connections.
Now that's really as far as we can go on this particular phone. The charge port cable is wrapped around underneath the display on the front. So to replace your charge port, you're going to have to go ahead and remove the screen. And this is being the edge phone, I am not going to do that because it's almost impossible to remove these edge screens without damaging them. So hopefully you can find a whole assembly and just put all the pieces back in. I'll go ahead and show a reassembly, a reassembly video down at the bottom. I'll link the short video in the bottom as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.